Hi, you're looking at a table that I've created for compound interest. So in other words, if you wanted to go and buy a savings account and you've got a certain rate, I'd say in this case 4%, for an investment of a thousand pounds, at the end of it, it will tell you that you've earned £124.86 over the three years. And next to that, your new purchase value for another one would be £1,124.86. I've actually created two spreadsheets here. The one on the left with the years in it, that is locked. I've done that because I don't want anything there to be altered. Somebody actually changed one of the cells in that because I've got um, formulas in there. But on the right hand side, you will want to change what the investment is you're going to put in and the interest you want to put in. So this is in a separate unlocked table and you'll see how I did that. So let's get on to the business of creating the table. The plus sign on the right hand side at the top, if I hit that, it's offering me a selection of sheets. Now the one I want is the top right and I touch that and that's given me my sheet. Now actually I've got two columns more than I need on here so I can get rid of them simply by going to the top right here. It looks like a sideways um, equal sign. Put my finger on that and drag it to the left and that's got rid of one column, that's got rid of two columns. It's also got too many rows, so I can lessen that. You can go more or less. Well, if I touch the equal sign at the bottom here again, I can go down for more or less. So I want a heading here, one, two, three, and the total there. So that should be the right size for that table. So if I now tap on the blue left-hand side column, and I'm going to type years here. My keyboard hasn't shown up yet, so I've got to touch it down at the bottom here, the round circle. And I also want it to be alphabetical, not numbers. So if I touch the ABC, now I can type, uh, I'm going to put it in uppercase. Now, if I want to do a number of uppercase letters, instead of doing this every time I want to do an uppercase letter, I'll just double tap on it. And that locks the upper the, the shift key on. Now I'm going to type year. Now tap on the next column header. And that one I'm going to put PV. And the last one I'm going to put INT interest. And I'll touch somewhere else on the screen, and that's it just shows the table as it is. Now I want those headings to be in the centre. So I'm going to put my finger on the first one, drag it across. I highlighted those three headings. If I go into the paint brush up here, which is format, and I want to format those cells. So if I tap on cell, <clears throat> You go down and I can see where I've got left justified, center and right justified on the center. And that's put them where I want them, in the center. Let's tap in the blank space again, it gets rid of that. Now down here, I want to put year one, year two, year three. So I'll tap on where I want year one. Get my keyboard back up again. And I put YR. One. Now the one is greyed out on here, and normally you would perhaps hit the shift to get that one, but the quick way to do it is just to slide your finger on that key down, and it will type in the one rather than the Q. So if I go slide down, there's one. Tap down to the next row, Y R two, slide down, go to the next one, 
my R3 slide down. Tap to the next one and type in total. Okay, so we've got those. Now the next thing we want to do is table two again, uh, column two I should say, or more correctly column B, that needs to be a currency table. So if I touch at the top here or highlight these rows here, I, in this case it's easy to highlight. If I tapped up the top, it does the same thing, but it's actually highlighting the th things that I'm not interested in. So if I double tap on it, it's now just highlighting those rows itself. Now I'm going to go over to format again, the little brush, and this time tap on format. And I want to select currency, but not only do I just want currency, I also want to add something else too. So if I just go over to the right where the eye is in the circle and turn the thousand separator on, you, you probably see it like this on yours. If I touch on that now, so now I've got a comma for every three zeros that come on it. Now that's formatted those rows. Touch somewhere else again now. If I do the same for interest, touch at the top and create the same format as the last column. Now I want to create another table over here, table two. So again, I go up and touch the plus sign and this time I'm going to select the second one in the down on the left. Because I don't, no, I won't. Oh no, I'll take the same one again. Now again, I've got a big, bigger table, much bigger than I need this time. So if you can remember the last time, I touched the equal sign, which is up top on the right here. I just want two columns. And here, I just want the header and one column. Now, if you look up on the left of this table, there's a little round circle next to the A. That's so I can move the table to where I want it. So I'll put my finger on that, move it across, and put it up the top here. Right. Now I'm going to type in here PV, which is the purchase value of my investment. So bring up the keyboard again. Still locked on down there, PV. Touch this one and I type ENT, INT, interest. Right, I'm gonna put these two in the middle again. I'm just gonna highlight oops, both of them. and tap on the brush go to cell and center them and also let me see back again if i highlight that i want this to be currency so tap on the there again go to format and click on currency thousand separator that's on next one go to interest tap on that cell and format again tap on percentage right now we're getting somewhere i'm not going to enter some amount you're not going to put a thousand so bring up the keyboard and go to the numbers one oh 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 and on the right hand side 
tap on that cell and I want to type in four, four percent. I just tap type four because I've set that as a percentage, that column. And now we can start. Now, to get the, add the interest to that, what I need to do is put another formula in here. So I tap on there. Now on this one, let's tap on there. Open up to the equal sign. We're going to say the thousand pounds plus uh, times the four percent interest, and that's what it is forty pounds. Now, if we kind of come down to this one, when we go equals, and we're going to say we want that one plus. That one and that makes that a thousand and forty. Now we do, do the same again as before. This one hit the equal sign, and it's that figure times the four percent again. And that's the following year's interest. Now we go down to this one again. Now we take um. This next cell, put an equal sign, and then here we want this figure plus the interest figure, and that should be that's that. Then we go into this cell again, and we go open the keyboard equals is that times oops, one there times four percent that's the interest we've got on here and one thing i need to do here i should just have two decimal places so if I go to the top here again should have done this before go to format and we've got um, a number or currency, isn't it? That's it. We're back to that. Let's put that correct. Now down here, we want the total that we've got here. So we want the thousand pounds plus each year's interest, and that will be our final figure. So if we come down to here, tab on equals, we say we take that, now plus that, plus that, so that's C3, C2 and C4. And that's our 112486. And if I want to sum this one, maybe this is an easier way to do that. If I go to cell and just click on sum, that has summed that column up. So that was the interest onto a thousand thousand one hundred and twenty-four eighty-six. Now that we've set this column up, we don't want anybody to interfere with it anymore. So if I touch the little bit in the left hand corner there, that's highlighted the whole thing. I click on here and it says lock. And that's locked that table now. And so if I now wanted to make this 75,000, and still leave it as 4%, we come back down here, you can see he's put 75,000 in, and that's my interest at the end of three years. 
at his own turmoil, a original he puts it, and it's 84,364. Got there in the end. Have a go at that. No, you get on okay with it. Bye for now.